Greetings VMs, GMs, and players. This is the Insomniac GM. And today I want to talk about the Moth Folk. Now, the Moth Folk are coming in the upcoming Grim Hollows um, Monster Manual, which I haven't gotten to look at too much of the revision of it, but during the play test, what I saw, this was the first monster that like I fell in love with and frankly the way I run my games this monster is a very useful monster for all of my different um editions of Dungeons and Dragons and Pathfinder it would especially be more useful in um the OSR games so Let's talk about the Moth Folk. So, Moth Folk are a medium sized fae that are attracted to light. So, if you have your parties with a um, campfire in that, they may swoop down and just snatch up one of the players and fly off. Um, the Moth Folk. They do, um, they're vulnerable to radiant damage. They're very perceptive. They have 120 foot fly speed. And they, they do have a curse to them if, like, they end up, um, making eye contact with their target. Um, the effect of the curse is... Uh, get me away from the, those monsters. From monsters hiding everywhere. So, I tried looking it up in this book. I tried looking at my other Grim Hollow books. Either I overlooked it, or it's something that they're going to be putting in in another revision or something. Or it's written that way to be interpreted the way you want, but... I'm assuming you're under the effects of fear or frighten and you hallucinate creatures all around you. I'm guessing. But I love the idea of just me personally, like I already love moths like crazy. And the idea of a creature being attracted to the players when they're trying to set up camp at night or they're traveling at night and they can come from the sky or anywhere from around them i can see throwing one of these after my players and later on them just becoming paranoid of them and i don't have to send another one after them after that but there's not a whole lot more to really tell you about them, but yeah, I, I look forward to using these in my games and I wanted to share that with you guys. Tell me in the comments, like, how would you use this creature? Um, you know, yeah, <laughs> well, until next time.